Hey everybody, welcome back to another cast by Synatic Starcraft. Today I'm going to be showing you my Zerg vs. Terran strat in Season 4 of Starcraft 2. Bam! And here we go. So we are playing Zelnaga Caverns. What's funny is when Blizzard uh, got rid of the three maps in, uh, or I think, yeah, they got rid of three, I think, in Season 4. Those are the three maps that I X'd out, so now I don't even know what maps I want to vote out. Um, I was thinking about Zelnaga, but I don't know, it's so original, and I used to like this map so much that I didn't really want to, but I guess I, I am still deciding. That stupid crypt map is annoying me, so I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I might just play all of them anyways, just because, I don't know, it makes it more diverse and you don't play the same, like, five maps over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So we have Yang spawning here in the top right position, playing the Terran. Uh, most Terrans now have two choices. It's to go 11-11 racks all in, just two racks pressure. Or Reactor Heli and Expand. Those are like the three builds that you can act. Did I say two? Well, I meant three. Those are like basically the three things you can do now. Uh, that's, you know, considered standard. The rest is just kind of cheesy all in stuff. And uh, I'd say 80% of the time they'll go Reactor Heli and so like, that's what I'll be expecting. But I'm always on the, I'm always active scouting for, uh, you know, two gate, or two Raxes and all that. So going for the 15 hatch here, because that's the way you do, that's the way you do things. That's the way to go. He's going 12 factory, or I mean not 12, 12 barracks and 13 gas, so I'm about to scout that and that'll tell me he's pretty much going reactive hellions. Like, there's, I don't think there's anything else he would go other than that. But that is the most standard thing to do. So I'll drone up till 16, then throwing down my pool then. Did I see that gas? I should have. Or I'm about to go see it. Seriously? Okay, I forgot to go see it, so I'm gonna go back. <laughs> so once I see that gas, I will know he's going reactive Hellions. There we go. Saw it right there. SCB doing some stupid shenanigans down here, probably. Maybe making a bunker or something. But once you see the that they're going reactive Hellions, the the reactor or the the bunker rush doesn't really do too much and most of the time it's just a fake to make you waste mining time you know make a lot of links and all that so I can see his SCV by the way see first overlord always going down here this is like every time I will bring my overlord to this position in Zalnaga it's kind of risky with like the Terran sometimes the Terran will know that uh, Zerg's like to do that so they get your their Marines and kill it but like, 90% of my games that are, this first Overlord does not get killed. What this Overlord allows me to do is if his first gas is here, then I can see that uh, when he gets a second gas, but that's not the case because he has his first gas here. Nonetheless, though, I can suicide it into uh, scout into here, and then my up second Overlord here can scout uh, through here. And I can pretty much see his whole base when I want to. So he's scouting with an SCV, it looks like here, making one pair of Zerglings, a Roach Warren at 435 or, you know, something something like that, and Zergling speed. Uh, most Zergs like to put a spine, um, one spine, and then just defend it with Lings and Queens, the, the reactor Hellions, but I found that this way is the, it's the way I do it, it's what I'm comfortable with, so... Roach Warren goes down, and you drone up till 28, and then you build two overlords, so that uh, you can pump out five roaches when uh, the attack does come. So uh, the Roach Warren does complete, the two overlords complete, and I should be building around five roaches now. Uh, fifth one should be on the way now. So it can speed halfway done. There's lots of benefits to this build, and I, it, it, it's really, it's so flexible. It's got some weaknesses, but this is the general build to go. It's it's I love this build. It's actually amazing. So droning up back there. When these two larva injects come out, I'll be building Zerglings. Because why? Um, they react to Hellion expand, so there this is gonna be an orbital and he's gonna lift it off and try to take that expansion. What I do with that is I deny it and sometimes make them overcompensate for it and you know, build bunkers and uh, you know, cut SCVs, I don't know, you know, just 
you slow their expansion down. This is not an all-in because after the, the these two uh, injects of Zerglings, you I use two this game I think, but most of the times you only need one and that should be good enough. So I did waste a lot of recon on this, uh, you could say, but you should drone up after this and it is not an all-in at all. Going Marauders because he saw a roach, I would assume, <laughs> building a bunker. These two Hellions didn't see too much, but it looks like they're going to come in here and be annoying. Stop my creep spread, all that. Lots of Zerglings going in here to kill some drones or something. Not much drones you can kill. Three Hellions didn't do too much damage at all. Roaches and Zerglings going through. Two Evolution Chambers going down after this. Uh, getting ready to get plus one, plus one when I get 250 gas. And uh, this will delay his expansion. If there's expansion there, I, you could, you could just plain kill him. But that's not the case, so I'm just gonna be sitting out here and giving him that, giving it, giving him like the feeling that I, I'm, I'm in control of. You can't come down your, your ramp. He's even pulling SCVs to repair. I'm just droning up behind this. Should be getting plus one, plus one pretty soon. There they are. And uh, after the next 100 gas, I will be getting my layer. So the layer is a lot later, but uh, you don't really need a layer too early in ZBT for any reason at all. So he has his two orbitals here, not being able to expand. Even though I left here, you, though I probably shouldn't have, he can't even come down because this army is pretty big. I should be working on these rocks, getting my third pretty soon, getting three gases now. Uh, after my layer started so I can get plus two plus two and an infestation pit so I'll be going infestors. Uh, drone count pretty good. Uh, not as good as it could be because I made... I, this game I don't know why I decided to make two rounds of lanes but normally I only make one so uh, my drone count normally is higher than theirs. Getting my double upgrades he decides to uh, go for double upgrades for himself to match up with mine. And uh, I think he feels safe now to grab his expansion. And yeah, he will be just doing that. But yeah, I made a lot of wings. I might have even be able to kill that, I think. But and I, I didn't do that in this case. Still making a lot of drones. Only drones. And I have caught and exceeded his worker count by 10 now. These two upgrades were a bit late, I have to admit. I kind of screwed it up. This was actually the first time I used this build, so I didn't do the best. Uh, executing it, but uh, I did pretty good, I think. And this build just works against mech, it works against... Uh, it just works against everything. I love this build so much, because if they go mech, you can just get roach speed and go roaches. If they go mass hellions, you know... Downside is I don't go mutas at all, which uh, people don't like. Some people don't like them. Uh, they love mutas, and if that's the way you like it, then do it. <laughs> This is what I like to do, and it's been working out for me, and I... ZBT is like my best matchup now. It really works, like, all the time. There's there's times where my Roach Lane Aggression just plain straight up kills them because the Terran's too greedy. There's times where uh, they're totally prepared for it, and I just run back and drone up and nothing happens. Just play the game. So plus two, plus two coming down. Uh, what is this called? Pathogen Glands on the way. Uh, this build is very weak to drops though, because obviously you don't have the Mitos to clean up the medevacs. And, uh, yeah. Grabbing my third now. Making Zerglings instead of drones right now, because all my hatcheries are going to be rallied right here, and since this isn't up yet, there's no point to build drones yet, I don't think. And, uh, most Terrans like to push out at the, you know, 10 to 12 minute mark where they think you're going Mitos. And uh, there's, there's games where they push out at 12 minutes, or 11 minutes, or whatever, and I just kill them with these plus two lings, and, or plus one lings, and they just straight up die. There's so much. Spotting this drop, but uh, I, didn't, I should have spotted it, but I don't think I actually spotted it in reality, so that's kind of bad. Should be making drones now. Five infestors as well, now that pathogen glands was uh, done. Getting my hive as well pretty early, 12, like, what was that, 12 minutes? And uh, this drop's going to be a bit annoying, but nonetheless, it's not going to do too much damage. Uh, Zerglings are really fast, so you can, most times you can just, uh, what do you call it? Go save your base. So doing a little counterattack with these Zerglings, uh, seeing what he's up to really. And, uh, catching a bit of Marines was not entirely, it was, didn't really do too much. I uh, did see them clear down the rocks with the gold, though, he's going to pick this up. 
Faster's coming out, plus two's gonna finish soon. And, uh, just droning up, uh, to fill up my third base now. So my hive completes, which he will scan. What's he gonna react with? I don't remember. Is that plus two, plus two? Saying that right now, by the way. Um, hive is about to finish. This is pretty much, I can't even tell. There's like Zerglings and stuff in there. That's pretty saturated. That's pretty good. 72 drones right now. Uh, one layer or hive completes Ultra's Cavern, plus three, plus three, and Adrenal Glands making more Zerglings now. After this is saturated, should be thinking about getting a fourth pretty soon here. And uh, here's the massive push that uh, most Terrans come with. And this, to be honest, does not look pretty massive at all. Oh, and Festers were rallied there for some reason. That was really stupid. I shouldn't have. Uh, losing one Infestor only. I was kind of lucky. I wasn't watching there, and I rallied my Infestors there, which is really, I don't know, that was really stupid. Uh, this army doesn't look like, too big. It's, I don't know why. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it looks puny, to be honest. Uh, I can't say too puny. Tanks can do a lot of damage. But I do have plus two, plus two on my wings. And all these upgrades are going up. Making two spines here, just, I guess, to watch for some drops and stuff. Uh, Infestor's own Marines. I should know. So, there you have it. Uh, building a spine here for a job. Holy crap, that queen's being weird. Just sending one marine to, you know, bait out my infestors of fungal or something, but I'm not stupid, so that's not gonna happen, dude. Sorry. Uh, plus one for him. So, when these three upgrades push up, he should, uh, or not push up, when these three upgrades complete, he should uh, start to inch forward, I think. But uh, my Ultras Cavern has completed, making four Ultras now. Uh, supplies, I'm in the lead by around 20, because these Ultras are fat, man. How much? Oh, they reduce the build time. I forgot to mention that. They're 55 seconds now. Before, they were like, I don't know, they took ages, though. I remember, like, throwing in a 200-200 army, and then you rebuild in Ultras, and you die before the Ultras come back up when they counterattack. How much did... I don't know what I was going to say, but... Uh, seven Ultras now, almost max, and he's going to start inching up with these tanks, spreading out his Marines for Infestors. But, uh, he might have spread too thin, pushing in, shelling my third. I could have waited for these three upgrades to finish, but my, I was in danger of losing my third, and I can't get a fourth right now, so I decided to move out. Fungal growth going down on the mass group of rains takes them all down. These plus three, or plus two ultras are so strong. Lengths of adrenal glands, plus two, plus two, doing tons of damage right now. Uh, Killing a bunch of stuff right there. Gonna clear the gold and gonna take that as my fourth base instead since I didn't really get a chance to get my fourth as that was delayed by uh, the little contain right here. Uh, plus three, plus three, finishing now. Making a bunch of ultralings and uh, scouting that he has got his planetary forges at the gold. Uh, planetary forges get owned by ultras because ultras just do so much damage and take so little damage from. Uh, uh, the cannon thingy, the Ek Ibix cannon or some shit. Grabbing the gold now and uh, gonna be going in for attack pretty soon. Uh, my econ's pretty good, 66 drones right now. Could be better, but uh, I should be able to just rally and follow up this attack by just straight up killing him. Uh, grabbing another base here for him. This attack's gonna be pretty strong though. Fully upgraded Zerglings, fully upgraded Ultralis. Uh, I totally shred through this. I mean, even if he had tanks, which he only had like, one at the time right there, he wouldn't have done too much. Infestors killing all the Marines, killing all the SCVs. Uh, Ultras just shredding in, making another. Er, no, I wasn't making another base. But, uh, I'm just gonna rally in Ultras and Zerglings and straight up kill him for now. Get to his production lines, and once you're there, he's dead. Plus three, plus three, I was completed, but it's gonna be too late. There's just too much ultras, too much zerglings, and too much everything. He's gonna kill him. Rallying everything here, and should be spraying him straight in, and he does leave the game. So, uh, this is the build that I use. Um, I'll be showing you guys what I do if, uh, you know, the Terran goes mech, or if the Terran goes this, or the Terran goes this. Uh, this build. It can deal with a lot of strategies Terrans goes with, so that, that's why I like this. You don't get the mutas, but uh, I think this is a lot better, and I've been winning most of my games with this. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.